Hey, what's going on YouTube? We're back with another Borderlands video and today we've got the history of Davis Pickle and he's best known for being hired by Handsome Jack in the pre-sequel, for losing his parents during the Krakening, and for being a fingersmith. Although Pickle is always referred to by his last name, his full name is actually Davis Pickle. He's 10 years old as of the events of the pre-sequel, and we know this because Pickle insults Harold Tassiter, calling him a bottle and glass ass, to which Tassiter wants to know who that is, and Jack informs him that Pickle is the 10-year-old boy that he hired to help. Tassiter then fires Jack. Now, Pickle's parents passed away during the Krakening, and we know this from a series of echoes that you'll hear right now. Hello, Mum. Hello, Dad. Sis, I know you're not coming back, but thought I'd drop you a line anyway. I've had the most amazing time since the attack. I've started my own business, finding stuff to sell. You always said I was a scrounger, Dad, so at least you were right about that. I'm still trying to sneak into the Drakensburg, get your stuff back, but it's proper hard. The bosun and his crew are right nutters and they flippin' hate me now. Truth is, this old place is scary as anything, but I'm doing what I promised, Mum. Having a brave year. I miss you. There, I said it. But I'm not giving up. Never. Me again? I did it! Got into the Drakensburg. I had help from a proper tough fault hunter, if I'm honest. Still, they got in, tore the place up something fierce. They thought I was just after tech stuff. I didn't tell them I was there to find your ashes. Took every sneaky trick in the book to get you and Dad out, but I did it. Hope you liked where I scattered you both. It's got lovely views of Pandora. I'll try and visit. Still no sign of Eliza. I try not to think about my sweet sis dead in a crag and nest. Or worse. Eliza's alive! That fault hunter found some geezer who'd actually met her. I had him track her down. I got her a message. She came for a visit. We had a catch up. Then she nicked some of me best stuff and scarpered. Classic. Means the world to know I've still got family out there. Claptrap says he can get these messages to you. I don't know how exactly, but it's got to be worth a shot, eh? Maybe it's one of those things that, if you believe in it enough, comes true. So as you can see, Pickle's story is a bit tragic, but you've got to be proud of the kid for powering through and making the best of a tough situation. Now, the bosun and Felicity are very familiar with Pickle as he's always trying to get into the destroyed Drakensburg doll frigate, which the pair run. The bosun calls him a precocious little asshole, and of course, Pickle was actually stealing stuff from the ship, but his primary reason for being there was because he was actually trying to recover the ashes of his parents so that he may spread them somewhere with a nice view. That's pretty sad. Now, we also know that he has a sister named Eliza, and she's still alive, and this can be discovered through the mission Another Pickle, where Rabid Adams mentions her. The Vault Hunter then goes through the mission to find her and subsequently save her from Bruce and his company. She returns to Pickle, they chat for a bit, and while he's brewing more tea, she steals half of his money and most of his inventory. Now, Pickle lives inside a poorly put together shelter out in the Outlands Canyon, which you could hardly call a place to live, but we need to remember that he is a 10 year old boy living on his own after all, so I think he's doing his best. Pickle describes himself as a fingersmith, which is essentially defined as a talented thief, and this term is a reference to the book by Sarah Waters called Fingersmith, which is about an orphan girl who was raised by a woman named Miss Suxby, who hosts a sort of family of thieves. The bottom line is Pickle is always trying to steal stuff for his business in order to make a living. We can see that he has a wanted poster where he is wanted for theft, fraud, larceny, piracy, and noise violations to the bounty of just $200. So I'm not sure they're that upset with him. And lastly, Pickle has since left Elpis for Pandora where he is seen with the likes of Tiny Tina, Lilith, Mordecai, Brick, Athena, and Claptrap at the beginning and the ending of the Claptastic Voyage DLC. 
And we need to remember that these points in the game fall after the events of Borderlands 2 in the timeline for Borderlands. Being that he is still alive, we may see much more of him in the next Borderlands game. All right, guys, so that was the history of Davis Pickle. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you got a suggestion for another History of video, be sure to check the History of playlist, by the way, so we're not suggesting things that are already done. And if you're into Borderlands, consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Later.